My name is Albert Corrado, and in 2018, my sister Melly was shot and killed by the LAPD at this very Trader Joe's. Today, we're here to demand that Trader Joe's stop carrying Israeli products. There's a genocide going on in Gaza, and for those of you who don't know, LAPD has actually sent officers to Israel in the past to train, to learn how to kill people better. The settler colonial violence that we're seeing in Gaza today is being perpetrated on American soil at places like Trader Joe's and all over the country by this country's law enforcement. Did you know that Trader Joe's is selling Israeli products? Really? Yeah, from yeah. stolen Palestinian land. And the wine is made wine. in an illegal settlement, so. Yeah. Here at Trader Joe's, looking for Israeli products. We're gonna put them in this cart and demand that Trader Joe's stop selling them. What is that? So this is Bamba puff peanut and corn snacks, and they have it in Nutella flavor uh -huh. for all the, uh, the kids out there. Sorry, ma'am, do you know that this is made in Israel? Does that make you feel anything? It's all friendly. It's meant for kids. The kids will never know. This is made in in, in Israel, quote unquote, land. Yeah, let's yeah, put all of them in there. Great. All of these are made in Israel. Here we go. Wine made in an illegal right settlement. There. Yeah, here. so this wine is actually made in an illegal settlement under international law, which, uh, you know, the other things were made in Israel proper. This is actually under international law, and it's illegal for Trader Joe's to be selling this. Stolen land wine. Israeli feta, folks. Israeli feta, we're gonna put that there. Prop that up like that. Boom. Now no one can claim ignorance. Garlic, ginger. Where does it say it's made? Where does it say it's made? Oh, product of Israel. Product of Israel. So for context, we are in Los Angeles, California. About five hours up the 101, there's a city called Gilroy, known as not only the garlic capital of the country, but probably the world. Literally, they somehow chose to bring in garlic from Israel. So there's no reason that we should, in California, be getting garlic from anywhere other than our backyard. They also have ginger. ginger. Oh, ginger. So, more, more items from Israel. Is this the manager's? This is the manager's desk. Okay. Dear Trader Joe's, like millions of people around the world, we are horrified by the genocide that Israel has been inflicting on the people of Gaza, as well as the violence that is spreading throughout the Middle East. We call on you as a company that values customer input and prides itself as an ethical business to join the international campaign to boycott Israeli products. This petition is part of the international call to boycott and sanction Israel as the best way to end its slaughter and starvation of the Palestinian people. While Trader Joe's claims it is transforming grocery shopping into a welcoming journey full of discovery and fun, it is certainly not fun to discover that one year into this genocide, you are still carrying Israeli products ranging from feta cheese and bamba, puffed peanut and corn snacks to derode garlic and ginger cubes. If you truly want us as customers to find our Trader Joe's experience rewarding, eventful and fun, we urge you to be on the right side of history. Stop stocking Israeli products and goods in your stores until Israel ends the occupation respects international law and ensures full and equal rights for Palestinians. Free Palestine! Free Palestine! Free Palestine! Believe that here, 15,000 people have signed this. Trader Joe's and Israeli goods Oh, how I want to be in that number When Trader Joe's bans Israeli goods When Israel stops the genocide when Israel stops its genocide, oh how I want to be in that number. When Israel stops its genocide, when Palestine, Palestine is free at last, free at last, Palestine is free at last. Oh how I want to be in that number. When Palestine is free at last. Free Palestine! Free Palestine! Free Palestine. Free Palestine. Right